Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be the products that I have purchased during the month of May. Some of these were online orders and some were actually going into the store and making purchases. So let's go shopping. So first I want to talk about some of the items that I ordered from um, Beautylish. Whew, I'm out of breath. I ran up the stairs. <clears throat> anyway, I like watching Trisha from The Glittery Life. Um, she works directly with Beautylish a lot of times um, doing different events. She is a makeup artist out of LA and she um, has a video on the Natasha, Natasha Denona blushes. And also, Wayne Goss also has a video on the, um, the blushes also. So I did order two different ones. So I have this one here. And I threw the packaging away on this one, so I don't know what the number of it is. But it has the colors number two, the Toto, and the number nine, Golden Coral. And these are seven grams each so each of the blushes is seven grams and this is what it looks like so the philosophy or the design behind this is that this is your main color that you do all over the cheek and then you use this color to blend out the edges and then along here which I'm not wearing this today but um, that is the whole concept um, behind the blush and this is um, the color there it's just a really pretty coral color peachy coral I don't know if you'll be able to see that and then the next one that I have is the um, palette number 13 and it also has the the same blending color in it the um, the number two the Toto and then it has the number eight golden Caribbean coral and it looks like this here which is more on the orange side of the coral where the other one was more on the pink side and this one you can definitely um, see it so that one is definitely more orange where this one is definitely um, more on the pink side this one I do definitely have to use a, um, a microfiber dual ended or not a microfiber just a dual ended makeup brush um, so I don't get quite so much pigment and wear those. They blend beautifully, um, wear wonderful, and I just don't think a lot of people are talking a whole lot about them, but I will make an annotation right up here on Trisha's video where she does a whole lot of swatches of the different ones for you to take a look at. Then also from Beautylish, I did order some of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Something I was thinking that I probably wouldn't do just because of the hype of them. Not so much anything, you know, against Jeffree Star, but I hate it when companies just come out with limited amount of product and then everyone orders it up and then they come out with more. Because you know, I know it's just a marketing ploy and I hate it when they do that, but anyway. So the color that I'm wearing is this one here, which is um, Red Rum. So that's what I have on my lips right now. And then I also ordered Dragon Blood, or Unicorn Blood, not Dragon Blood, Unicorn Blood. And I was a little disappointed in the color of this one. I really thought this one was going to be more red, but it's more on the, I don't know, brown side just because even the swatches online look like it was going to be more red where it's actually more it's more brown than it is red but anyway and then I got um, doll parts and we'll do a swatch there's doll parts and then the other color I got was called um, Gemini. Really pretty colors, but they they almost smell like, to me, this is Gemini. Licorice, like black licorice. And I'm not a fan of licorice, but anyway, they're pretty. They don't wear as well as my... Um, 
my Rimmel, my Rimmel, my Rimmel Provocalypse, but they're okay. So anyway, so that was what I ordered off of Beautylish. And if you've not shopped with Beautylish, this curl right here is really irritating. Anyway, they have wonderful customer service, very quick shipping, um, just a, an outstanding company to order from. So check them out. Um, let's see, let's go to um, Ulta. So now we're going to go to Ulta and made some in-store purchases because um, we actually have an Ulta within 10 miles from where I live now. So that's pretty fun. And I made, I ordered, no I didn't order. I went in and made some purchases. Um, two of the things that I got are from the Urban Decay line. Um, they're lipsticks because they marked them all down because they came out with new formulation, new colors. So all of the existing um, old ones they marked down. So I got two and they are both in the matte range, I do believe. And this one is called Matte Temper. And it's this color here, which of course you know they're both going to be a red. Everybody's probably guessed that already. Um, pretty much if I order lipstick, it's a red. And then the next one is called Matte Tilt. And this one's more of a tomato red. <clears throat> and I'll show you the swatches here in just a moment. But this one's definitely a tomato red. And I always get compliments when I wear like a tomato red. But see, here's the first one and there's this one. So if you can still find them, um, when I got them in my Ulta, and I don't know if it's just because it's a new Ulta, but they had a lot left. So they had a really good selection. But those were the two that I got. And then I got a mask. This is the It's Skin Butterfly Eyes Mask Sheet, and it is to put on, obviously, your eyes. Um, it's supposed to fit this section here, so it's going to cover all the way around, under your eyes, on your eyes, all up around. So I'm excited to try that. I've not used it yet, obviously. It's still in the package but it's supposed to moisturize um yeah moisturization i guess it's designed to closely fit the eye butterfly zone it contains um, broccoli extract nine nine nice nine inside i can't say that phytocollagen and five flower ingredients that help to smooth the skin and provide hydration, firmness, and skin radiance. So, have that. And then another mask that I have is this one here, and this is from Tony Moly. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen where I used this the other day. And in this part of the packet is the cream, um, leave-in mask. So basically what you do is you shampoo your hair, towel dry it, and then you put all this cream that's here on your hair. And then in this packet here was a a um, cap that you put on top of, of this. And the cap itself was actually lined with an essence also. You leave it on for 10, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then you rinse it off. I actually left mine on for an hour. I put it on and then I had another uh, mask on my face and then I did housework and had those both of those on for an hour and then rinsed and styled and I liked it it was very moisturizing and I can't remember the price I'm gonna say it was anywhere between eight and ten dollars for that then also from Ulta I got this product this is the Maui moisture curl crit curl quench coconut oil curl smoothie for thick curly hair Whew. anyway it's supposed to be um, silicone free um, paraben free <sighs> wholesome beauty um, what else does it say no silicones no glutens 
no sulfates, no synthetic dyes, um, ve vegan, bio-friendly. So just a lot of good stuff in it. It's supposed to be good for your hair. It smelled really good. It's just a really nice thick white cream that you use for a conditioning mask. I have not used it yet, but I will let you know possibly in another video. And then I have a few things that I got from NARS and from the summer collection. I got three of the um, intensity eyeshadows. So the first one here is called Topless, which is a nice, um, almost like a skin, skin tone color. A shell, I guess you could almost say, like a shell color. So I got that one. I also got tan lines. I really like this one. This is more like a cocoa brown. And I don't know if you'll see that or not, but that one's that one. And then I got um, Deep End, which is a beautiful teal blue. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. So that one's really pretty. Okay, I also placed an order on the bomb. They one day they were doing a 24-hour 50% off sale. I think it was for 24 hours anyway. I ended up ordering this here. This is the matte meat matte trimony new palette that they just came out with, their new matte palette. And I'm trying to get this palette out of the outer packaging and it's not cooperating with me. Okay, here it is out of the outer packaging, which took me probably a good five minutes to get out. But here's what it looks like. And I'm actually wearing this color here all over the eye, all over the lid, which is called Matte Lim, Lim. Then I have Matte Coomer and Matte Reed, which is these two colors here on the outer edge and into the crease. And then I have it blended with Matte Evans down here. So anyway, this is the palette that I'm wearing today on my eyes. And it still looks pretty good. I put my makeup on around 6.30 this morning and it's 8.30 now at night. Pretty good and let's see from Sephora I did go ahead and order the BB um, curl style pre styler restyler primer and um, I said I was going to get this whenever I ran out of my it's a 10 and I have used that up so I ordered this and it is the eight and a half fluid ounces and it's for curly hair you put it on wet and you can use it for a pre-styler. You can put it on dry hair to uh, revamp the curls. Um, and then a hundred point perk I bought, bought got the, um, the YSL black opium uh, perfume. And it smells good. I think it would definitely make a, a better um, fall scent than it would summer for me, but it might be might be a little bit too sweet from what I like but the little roller ball is just like super cute anyway so that and then another order from Sephora was the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea concealer in the color Fair I'm kind of on the fence with this I don't know if I like it or not um, the smell is definitely very strong it definitely has a chemical smell to it and this little doe foot applicator is huge, which I know everyone has said that, that has purchased it or reviewed it. But, and then there's the color there. I don't know, I just, I'm just really thinking I don't like the consistency of it for some reason. But I'm going to try it a few more times, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to send it back. And then a code that I put in with that order was from Tatcha, and I got this free Indigo um, Soothing Rice Enzyme Powder. I've had the, the one that comes in the white packaging that I actually purchased. So this size right here actually will cost $15. You can get it at Sephora in the little checkout area in the white packaging, but it's just a little powder that you put like a 
a dime size in the palm of your hand and you put some water with it, activate it, and it makes it into a foam and then you cleanse your skin with it. It's really good for using as your um, second cleanse in your um, skincare routine. Okay, so moving on to, um, <clears throat> oh, I had another item from Ulta. Was this, not Ulta, Sephora, the Laura Mercier lip pencil in the color Warm Poppy. I like the Laura Mercier um, pencils. They all come with a little sharpener, which is pretty nice. And then here's the pencil and the Warm Poppy. I'm going to put it right there. I thought this color would go good with either one of those um, Urban Decay lipsticks that I purchased. So there is the Warm Poppy with the brighter of the two of the Urban Decay and then there's there it is with the darker of the two. So that's why I ordered that and these are really good pencils to um, do not just outline to but fill in your lips and, and use it kind of like as a base for your lipstick to go on and they last they last all day. I like these and I like the ones from um, from It Cosmetics. Those are really good too, the ones that are a stain. Okay. Um so I did that. Okay, oh this. This I was so excited to get because not knowing that when it launched that it was going to be so limited edition and I've been wanting it ever since I started seeing promotional spots on it that it was coming out and just so happens I had some items on for sale on this app called McCary. Um, you can get it if you have an iPhone possibly even if you have an Android I'm not for sure though and you can sell items or purchase items on that app and I have a lot of makeup on there and some of the products that I had one of the sellers was interested in it and doing a swap because she had an item I wanted and I had some items that she wanted so we kind of traded and this is what I got yay I got the um, the Too Faced the Sweet Peach little eyeshadow palette now I have heard that the Too Faced team is supposed to be coming out with more of these later in the summer. And here she is in all her glory. I'm not going to spend too much time with it. Oh, but I love it. It's so pretty. And I'm so glad I got it. And I got the Nat Natasha Nadona. I don't know why I have such a hard time with her name. Natasha Denona blushes to match the colors in here so I have you know a more bright vibrant coral and then a lighter coral I uh, blush to go with with this palette oh it's so pretty so if it comes out again and you don't have it then I I recommend it I do I like it I like it a lot and then the last thing that I have is from Walmart and I don't remember the girl's name that I was watching but I'll put an annotation right up here um, of her video but she was talking about this shave cream called Cremo from Walmart is at Walmart is around six dollars and this is the men's um, they have it in the ladies section too I think the ladies had a pink cap on it but this is from the men's line and it's a 90 day supply and from I haven't tried it yet but from what the way she described it kind of made me think that maybe this was similar um, to the Wish shave creams and the Wish shave creams are like $18, $20 and this was only $6 so I thought it was worth a try and I haven't opened, I haven't used it yet. I just got it a couple days ago. Okay, I wanted to see. No, it does not smell like, it doesn't smell guy, guyish. It almost smells fruity almost so so you don't have to worry about you know being a masculine smell but anyway she was really going on and on and on about this and how good it was and it's just a little cream like that for shaving so I don't know looks good feels good 
So we're going to give it a go because I really don't like shave creams, shave gels, whatever. So, but I do like the wish line, but I just don't want to spend that much money for something to just shave my legs. So if this works out, we'll be good to go. And then um, from Walls, which is kind of like a, a discount store, kind of like um, Big Lots, I found some of these e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder um, in Sheer. And so I got, I got three of them. Um, haven't tried them yet. They're not very big packages. That's why I got three. Because I knew if I could get it and then I like it and then I'm not allowed to get it. So it's just a little cube oh yeah it's got the little um, sifter in there anyway not very much in there so but I'm gonna give it a try and see I'm trying to find something that just doesn't I like to set and under eyes you know with the powder but see like everything I try just wants to settle in all those little fine lines that I have and it's not pretty so anyway, yep, that is it for the items that I purchased during the month of May. I um, hope you enjoy. Um, this probably won't be going up until Memorial Day. So thank you so much. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.